Y'all, Jalen is a victim of domestic violence. She is a victim. Ain't no other way to put it. One woman is dead after a shooting in a Richland County apartment complex. At first, Columbia Richland fire crews went to the scene, responding to a water leak alarm. The woman died on the scene while the man was taken to a hospital with serious injuries. All right, get ready with me. We about to go to Charlotte for the weekend for my best friend's birthday. So let's go. Beautiful, smart lady, funny, never had a mean bone in her body. She was a Taurus until you backed her up in a corner. Detectives believe the shooting was a domestic violence incident. Patton Tatum says her daughter was very quiet about the violent arguments between her and her former boyfriend. She says her daughter was working hard to co-parent with KD despite her fear. She struggled, y'all. And let me tell you something about a bond in a relationship. You fall in love with somebody, you can fall out of love. You can fall out of love. Jalen's mother says police had been called twice to her daughter's home for a wellness check and another incident where she says KD was trying to break in. Um, neighbors saying how he would stalk her in the parking lot, that he would sit there and wait for her to come home and they would watch. <laughs> He's probably, probably forced his way to my baby. There was a struggle behind Jalen's dog. And y'all know she had a beautiful dog face. It's a struggle behind them. And only the ones that know, know she was tired. She was tired. God got my baby. But if these young girls, if us as grown women, if men don't reach out and get the help that they need, they, they gonna feel what I'm feeling. They gon' feel what I'm feeling. Jalen Sarah Hasty was 29 years old and lived in Columbia, South Carolina. Friends and family described Jalen as devoted, creative, and kind-hearted. She was passionate about DIY projects and loved creating new ways to make her home and space unique. She had a popular TikTok account where she would post Dollar Tree hauls and unique gift ideas frequently. I went to three different Dollar Tree stores and here is what I found. We would remain friends, but you know that I do not depend on nothing or no one. So why would you show up so uninvited? Then just change my mind like that. Please don't take this personal. But you ain't shit. You want special till I made you so. You better act like you know that I've been through worse than you. When the pandemic hit, Jalen started a creative business making masks. She received orders from all over the world. She would even host giveaways monthly for the business, and she would always thank customers for their service. Okay, greetings, everybody. Um, we're coming to you again for our monthly free mask giveaway. And um, first we want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for supporting the BigBlingDollFace.com website with the mask. We want to say thank you so much. Um, second of all, we want to shout out to our states that have kept the website on fire. Yes, uh, we are. We're going to have to shout out to those states because they have really, really showed up, ordered these masks, been serious about these masks 
mask and and really you know just really 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 showed us some love um first we want to shout out to our home state texas texas has been showing up dallas fort worth the surrounding cities around dallas and around fort worth all of the small towns outside of dallas and fort worth some cities we never even heard of have been ordering the mask off of the website so shouts out to texas shouts out to georgia yes georgia peaches we appreciate you we love you so much thank you guys for shopping with us and um just really showing us love south carolina you know you in the his ass y'all know y'all been buying the mask and we appreciate it we love you from the bottom 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 florida yes we've had a lot of orders come out of florida new jersey in the house up north yes up north has been showing out too they've been ordering eight at a time 12 at a time so you know that the the, the mask game is serious i guess the further up north you go california yes we've been getting orders from california too all the way out in cali y'all and this one kind of took me by surprise this one has i mean this one right here i was like oh my god we had like four we've got four regular customers coming out of hawaii and um one girl is giving them away she's buying them and she's handing them out and she's out in hawaii fort leavenworth um, Missouri has um, showed up in the house too. So with that being said, we want to shout out to all the states and we're looking forward to seeing more states come in and do some things as well. Since then, she ventured into another sales lead as a property manager and realtor for Leakin Property Group. She also shared her journey working there and hosting events for the company. Come to work with me. That I don't want you here. It's something about the way you stare into my eyes. I know that I don't make things clear. I fall for you every time I try to resist. We can get away. Come chase beach feels and then every day. All you wanna hear is an everything that we play. Sitting next to you. When she wasn't busy working, she was focused on building a better life for herself and her daughter. Jalen was in a previous long-term relationship with her ex-boyfriend KD that turned toxic. Although reports are focused on the end of their relationship, in the beginning, they were very close. The two made a lot of memories together. Her family even welcomed him. Only been a few hours, but it felt like days. Only been days, but it felt like months. We gone for a year, only go like once. Life moves fast and you do what you want. I guess I'm doing what I want. Hope you know what you want. And after years of dating, the two welcomed the daughter and the couple were hugely celebrated by their families. Jalen was really big on family. She was very close with her parents and siblings. They all showed the couple's support. You could see their excitement during her gender reveal and her baby shower. Baby. Why we can't set up over here? Yeah. 
Mom, put the put the box on the floor. We gonna stand over here. Come on, okay. Call my brother, please. Yeah. It's a girl. I already know it. I feel it. I need to get my bottle. Girl, baby, here you see me. Who's that? Thanks. All right. Hold on. Let me turn it around. Who's going to hold this? Who's going to hold this? Yes. I'll do it. It's Facebook Live. Okay, so just keep it on the box. You ain't gonna be able to pop your thing. Hmm. Uh, can we get one of you guys to hold a phone for us, please? Daddy, where you at? Where you at? Uh, Facebook Live. Can you hold up here? Do he want to go on Jayla Live? Because we're fixing to do the gender reveal. So it's a girl. I already know it. Oh, this my friend. She's gonna hold the camera. I know how you feel. It's on live, right? Yep, yep. Okay. Right. Oh, oh, <laughs> it's a girl, do y'all Look at her feeling all sad. You got your girl, bro. Go get in the picture. Go get in the picture. <laughs> She's talking about them, Katie. Daddy, Daddy mad. <laughs> huh? No, he wanted the boy. I know, but I thought. Hold on. We're about to take a family portrait. Okay, I told you I was a girl. I, this morning I said I feel it in my gut. This gut. John, just get in. So, so really, I kind of wanted to be the girl, but I really didn't want to. You got your girl. You gonna get your karma. Look 
looking so cute. Cute as I can be. Thank y'all so much. Sadly, although she had her family's support, there were some things they did not know related to her relationship with her child's father. According to reports, Jalen and KD would have minor disputes, but then those minor disputes took a turn for the worse. Jalen started fearing for her life and wanted out of the relationship, but allegedly, KD failed to accept that Jalen wanted to move on, and according to a private investigator, he became overly obsessed with her and started stalking her. Her. He said he was going to fight to keep his family together and he wouldn't stop trying to go after Jalen. Eventually, Jalen went out and bought a firearm for her protection after South Carolina police had been called twice to her home and another incident when KD was trying to break in but nothing was done. Um, neighbors saying how he would stalk her in the parking lot, that he would sit there and wait for her to come home and they would watch. Jalen's mother says police had been called twice to her daughter's home for a wellness check and another incident where she says KD was trying to break in. They never laid eyes on Kim. They, they, when my daughter said she's good, they turned around and walked off. And he always told her he was gonna fight for his family. Nobody's gonna have his family. Nobody. All in all, Jalen recognized that her relationship was unhealthy for her and her baby and decided to take the brave steps of leaving to start a new life. She only wanted to work towards co-parenting with KD. But unfortunately, after months of threats and intimidation, Jalen was murdered by her ex-boyfriend. One woman is dead after a shooting in a Richland County apartment complex. Officials with Richland County Sheriff's Department say the shooting happened last night at the Heron Lake Apartments on North Brickyard Road. At first, Columbia Richland fire crews went to the scene, responding to a water leak alarm. According to authorities, Columbia fire crews responded to reports of a water leak when they went inside the first floor apartment where it was coming from. Fire officials found Jalen shot dead on her couch and her ex-boy friend who the family called KD wounded with a handgun near him. Deputies say KD was transported to the hospital with serious injuries. People say it's love, but when you kill somebody or you try to dominate somebody's whole life, that's not love. Investigator says Jalen Hasty died at the scene from her injuries and Bates was taken to the hospital. Deputies say they recovered a gun from Bates before he was taken to the hospital with a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Investigators believe that the incident is in result of domestic violence. Richland County Sheriff Leon Lott says education is really important in situations like this one. What we try to do is educate young women. It's not okay to be beaten. It's not okay to be in an abusive relationship. There is help out there for you. So we try to do a lot with education. Lott also says that education and enforcement are critical steps to avoid these situations in communities. Education's first, educating young women. Uh, educating the community, educating young man that it's not okay to beat a woman. And then the enforcement part, and when something like this happens, then we're going to make an arrest, we're going to do what we can, and try to hold them accountable. Investigators say that the investigation is still ongoing and more information will be released when it is available. Two days later, on September 3rd, 2023, officials announced Conardo Bates was charged with murder, kidnapping, and possession of a weapon during a violent crime. The Richland County Sheriff's Department arrested a man after he was released from the hospital. 31-year-old Conardo Bates is facing several charges, including murder and kidnapping. The officials say Bates was previously dating that woman and is now being charged with her murder. CPD says this is an ongoing investigation. While the investigation is is ongoing, detectives are still asking if anyone know any information about the incident to call your local authorities. At this time, Jalen's family, friends, and loved ones have shared her story in hopes of helping another. Monica Hatton Tatum is revisiting the days leading up to when her 29-year-old daughter, Jalen Hasty, was killed. She knew that the end was coming with her because she tried to move on. And I guess he just decided that 
He wasn't moving on. Hatton Tatum says her daughter was very quiet about the violent arguments between her and her former boyfriend. She says her daughter was working hard to co-parent with KD despite her fear. God got my baby. Mm -hmm. But if these young girls, if us as grown women, if men don't reach out and get the help that they need, they, they gonna feel what I'm feeling. Situations like this are beyond devastating and I can never say the right words. That's why I always say the same thing. I, I could just have to continue to pray for everyone. Let's continue to use our discernment and let's continue to stay aware and stay alert. Please respect the family and the victim in the comments. I love you all dearly. And with that being said, please don't forget to check on your loved ones. There was a struggle behind Jalen's doll face. And y'all know she had a beautiful doll face. There was a struggle behind there. And only the ones that know, know she was tired. She was tired. She, she ain't want to do it no more. She ain't want to do it no more. Y'all, Jalen is a victim of domestic violence. She is a victim. Ain't no, ain't no other way to put it. She's a victim of domestic violence. Jalen was murdered. Our baby was murdered. She struggled, y'all. And let me tell you something about a bond in a relationship. You fall in love with somebody, you can fall out of love. You can fall out of love. But one thing I can tell you is, you don't never stop having love for that person. Whether it be for a reason or whether it be under some circumstances. Love. You won't you ain't in love with them, but you got love. And what happens is some people can take advantage of that love. And they can play on your emotions with that love. And they can hold that love over your head. And they can make you feel guilty because you hold that love for them. Jalen was a victim of that. She was a victim of that. That kind of love. She had that kind of love for Kinsley's dad. And he knew how to play on it. And he knew how to manipulate it. And he knew how to use it to his advantage because Jalen came from love. Love unconditionally. Not under conditions. Because there's a difference. Mental health. Mental blackout. Mental checkout mental sign off it's real it's real and Kinsley's father he checked out and we loved Katie we love Katie we love Katie unconditionally because it was a lot of times I was over at their house unconditionally I was knee deep in it and I wasn't on nobody's team I wasn't on nobody's side I was for what was right by each other and what was best for Kinsley
I didn't stick my nose in their business. Mental health is real. Mental breakdown is real. Mental checkout is real. Self-love is available. Self-worth is available. Self-empowerment is available. We got to be available to teach it to them. How are we going to train up our daughter to find her king? And ain't nobody training up their son to look like, act like, or be a king. We fixing the daughters up. We got all these groups going. We got all these activities. We got all this stuff. We got all that. We got all that, all that for them. And you know what? They bossing up. Career-wise, they're bossing up. Emotionally, they're bossing up. Physically, they're bossing up. Mentally, they're bossing up. Until they meet your broken son. And he starts tearing them down. Piece by piece, he starts breaking them down mentally, physically. He starts breaking them down because ain't nobody over there teaching him. Ain't nobody over there tapping him on the shoulder. The village ain't even saying nothing because you know what they say? I, I don't. I can't do nothing with him. Did you put some oil in your house? Did you call on the name of Jesus in his presence? Because you can do something with him. You ain't too busy trying to be his homeboy. Because parents ain't homeboys and homegirls. We ain't they friends. We a good time when it's time. We not they friends. Your daughter is not your best friend. Your daughter is your daughter. And she needs you to be the mother. And she needs you to know that you are there and you're open. She needs to know that she can come to you. With no fear. That don't make her your best friend. It's a time and a place. That's what you are. A good time when it's time. Not Your daughter is not your best friend. Child, please. If that's your best friend, you need to find a new circle. Because it's some things that you do with your best friend, you ain't got no business doing with your daughter. It's some things you talk about with your best friend, you ain't got no business talking about with your daughter. Oh, that's my dude. That's my homeboy. That boy ain't your homeboy. That boy ain't your friend. And the minute they on some other stuff because they ready to go do what they gonna do with their friends that ain't got ain't that ain't got nothing to do with you, that ain't none of your business, mama, daddy. They gonna throw your ass over there in the friend zone and they ain't gonna answer that phone. They gonna turn that location off. And you're going to be sitting over there saying, I don't know why. Because that ain't your friend. That ain't your friend. You the mama. And you the daddy. Your house is your house. Your rules are your rules. And if they don't follow it, my daddy said, get on the other side of the door. Everything on this side of the door is 
what my daddy used to tell us. Everything on this side of my door give a damn about you. Everything on the other side of that door don't give a damn about you. Get it how you live. I put my kid on the other side of the door. I put him on the other side of the door. I close my door. You know why? Because I had oil in my house. I had oil on his head. I had oil on his hands, oil on his feet. He'll tell you. He came back in my house and he was old enough to have his own house. You got to pay bills in here. Grown people pay bills. And if you're going to live up in here with me, you're going to have to pay some bills because you grown. You eligible for your own place. You eligible for a job. Your credit good. Your background good. Your, your education is good. You know, you, you know better. You know right from wrong. Okay, now you're old enough to pay bills in your own home. But since you choose to come up in my home, you're going to help me pay some bills. I gave him a little time. I reminded him. I handed him the water bill. He looked at it. He said, what's this? That's your bill. I paid the water bill. And I took the door off the, I took the, door off the hinge of his bedroom. And I said, grown folks that pay bills in my house, close doors. And when you start being grown in my house and paying bills, you'll get your door back. He packed his stuff. And you know why I was okay? Because I had oil in my house. I had God in my house. And he said, you keep your eyes on me. And I'm going to take care of all that in your life. We have taken our eyes off of God. Therefore, we can't teach our kids how to keep their eyes on God. I ain't holy rolling. Y'all ain't hearing me quote not one scripture. Because I don't know them like that. I can tell you a story. I can relate to something in the Bible that relates to this day and age. But if you want me to go up in my brain and tell you and, and, and throw out and spill out a script, God didn't give me that gift. He gave me the gift of truth. He gave me the gift of transparency. And he gave me a poker face. I wasn't very smart in school, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna memorize. I'm not going to memorize scriptures. And it's not that I'm, I, I got to wait on God to use me for that. I got to wait on God to put that in me. This right here, what you get tonight, this is what he put in me. And he set me in front of you to talk about the real deal. My niece is gone. And she ain't coming back. And she left me here to save somebody else's niece, to save somebody else's daughter. She is my light and she is my fire because it's been a shift in our village. The ground has ruptured in this village, baby. He took our flower. He took our flower. 
He's trying to get our attention in this village. You know why? Because this is a beautiful thing and he want us to let y'all know this is a beautiful thing. Get your village. Put your village under one roof. That's my dream. I wanted my whole village under one roof. Because you know what? We ain't got nothing. We don't come from nothing. And God got us on everything. Mm, that's deep. Everything we got, we work hard for it. Everything we own, we paid for it. Call it what you want to call it. We don't get to pick and choose how long God let us sit here. He, we don't get to pick and choose when our will is done. We don't get to pick and choose. I love y'all. I love everybody that stuck and stayed. I love y'all. The GoFundMe for Kinsley is real. And that's real. I had help creating that because I don't know a whole lot about the technology on the phones a lot of times. I teach myself a lot. It probably would have took me till tomorrow sometime to do that. But Joy came over and La Paris came over and, and they, they fixed that for me. We did the best we could to make the picture a little bit more clearer, but it's not a fake page. That's for Kinsley. Because this village still got to do what we got to do for Kinsley. So the GoFundMe page, if I tagged you, if you saw it on my page, support that. It's real. It's not a, It's not fake. It's not fake. That's not fake. I'm going to leave y'all with one scripture. Two. That I love to tell my loved ones and the people I come in contact. To much is given, much is required. Now, what part of the book? Y'all let me know. But I know it's days I wake up and I have to say that to myself. When the days are long, when the days are hard, when I can't, when I can't figure out the day, I know how to say, to much is given, much is required. So if you're asking God for a lot, are you doing a lot to get it? Are you in the position to receive it? And the other one I like to say, give us this day our daily bread. It's in my house. If you've been in my house and you've seen my walls, I got affirmations in my house. And that's what works for me. Because see, when I look over at them and I read them, I remember who God is. And I remember my purpose in life and here on this earth. He says, give us this day our daily bread. And the daily bread is not a sub sandwich. It's not cornbread. It's the bread of life. And he said, give us this day. Not give us this week. Give us this month. Because we're not promised. We're not promised tomorrow. And Jalen proved that we're not promised tomorrow. She proved that. But she didn't leave no unfinished business, y'all. And when you riding with God and you, you, you on that passenger side so tough with him, you see the signs. You see the signs. And when it's all said and done and you look back and you say, yep. Yep. He knew. He was coming to get her. Because she was done. She was done. She experienced friendship. She experienced true love. She experienced happiness. She experienced motherhood. In these last four months, she lived her best life. And if she ever talked to you, she told you, I'm living my best life. And 
and for the beautiful men and women that was in her life that showed up at my house. Thank y'all. And you're always welcome. My phone number is on Facebook. I'm the truth. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. You can call me. You can call me. And for my brave dudes, I'll hand the phone to Dwight. And God gonna use him. Because he got a testimony and he got a he got a purpose. And he got some unfinished business. And that's his story to tell. My phone, I mean, this iPad is about to go dead. I love all of y'all. I love all of y'all. I love who you are. I love you in spite of. I love you unconditionally. And for the ones that know, they know, they know, I got humanly respect for you. Ain't no smoke over here. Ain't no smoke over here. Just boundaries. I got boundaries for you. That's it. Humanly respecting boundaries. That's all I got. And if you come close enough to hear my voice, it's a, hey, how you doing? Because everybody deserves that from God. And I am of God. And I fall short every day. But he ain't finished with me. And the flaws you see are the things he can change in the blink of the eye. It's on the inside is what he's working on. And you remember that when you see somebody and you say, I can't believe she, oh, I, she got the nerve. God can fix that in a split second. You don't know what he's working on, that person on the inside. Give them some humanly respect and set some boundaries for them if you don't like it. Lift each other up. Lend each other a hand. Pray. Get close to God. It don't make it don't make you it don't make you a bad person. It don't church 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 is here. Church is here.